on Grandpa's uh, property. They just got stuff. their new trailer. Okay, it's a nice long trailer. That last jet out is their master bedroom. This right here we still have to push out. This is the kitchen and the dining room. Now we're at the front of the trailer. Sliding glass doors. A little bit higher than the other trailer, so the sun deck doesn't quite match up. Got a back door. We're going to have to wiggle the trailer because it's not quite lined up to the sun deck. So Grandpa and Dad have got a project in hand. Grandpa being an engineer, he can figure this out. It's about 8.30 in the morning. That's the view from the sun deck. Not too shabby. Okay. It's going to be a lovely day. Sun shining. And here comes Grandpa. Would you like to say something to your fans? Good morning, fans. And what do you think about this whole situation of having to move the trailer? Like I'll have to, no comments so no far. No comments? Do you like do? Grandpa's um, Mr. Wilson's hat? Yes. Yeah. Are you trying to put something else in there? Anyway, yes. And here's Grandma in the old trailer. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. Hi. See, we've got all this oh, to pack up and put into the new trailer. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't look too bad either, does it? No. Talk about an engineering feat, boy. You've never seen anything like it in this country. I tell you. That's for the press. <laughs> so explain what you're doing for the press. Hey. <laughs> Measure it, Harry. It looks measure, terrible from measure. that end. Okay, fellas. We're moving the trailer so the trailer is parallel with the edge of the deck. How? Okay, that's the effort here. Reese block. The assistant is going over that way. Okay. What you say? Oh, on, uh, another inch and a half or so. This way? Yeah. Gosh, if you look at that end, you'll see it real easy. Yeah, do they? Now we got enough space for it. Here we go. Once How about that? Here, go easy, Bill. T bar, we're going to have to move the T bar. We're going to oh, yeah, is that, is that pushing up too high? Yep, we're going over. The T bar is going to go farther up, so we'll move the T bar in. I'll hold the trailer up for you get ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. That. We gotta keep an eye on that thing so we don't go, go too far. Right? We just need the whole set. Oh, we might have to. Yeah. Whoop! You think it? Another half inch. Oh, she's getting better. For the Eliana. Hey, we're. Yeah, I think, yeah, I gotta go. I had a half inch and a half till. Yep. You didn't ever think it would be. How much? Another inch and a half, yeah. Another inch and a half. Yeah. Sure doesn't look like it. You're going to do it. You do it right. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. Know, take we, the come along and do it, won't it? Or, we, or you want to stop it? I think we got to move these bottom blocks here again. If you're going to be sticking over, it's going to look like hills. You stick over there. No, we got to get some tension on here. No, if I do that, I'm going to no. pull the whole thing anyway. Pull it over. Well, let's see what happens. Easy. No, we go over an inch and a half. It's going to look like hell. That's easy. All right. Hey, I tell you what, we don't give a damn because after we get the load on these, we can change those blocks anyway. We can change the blocks sure. anytime. That's right. Oh, wow. Just a touch. Okay. Hang on. Okay, Ooh. hold it, hold it. That's about an inch you got. Is it? Okay, let's try a little touch more. More than an inch. Why? Easy now, Bill. Got a lot of tension on it. Yeah. Let's see what she's doing here. Seem better than the half somehow. <laughs> yeah, it looks bad now. From this no, end. Well, if you look at the other end, you'll see it's fine. Now put all the blocking back on the. On the, the farther, you see, the farther you get away from that, that, that sort of tunnel vision thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to have a tour of the trailer before the push out <laughs> oh and before it's clean. Who's going to be that interesting? See, this is the living room, but it has to be pushed out so that the Chesterfield can go in. There's the dining room, so the chair is just sitting in there. And see how that wall will be pushed out, and then you can see the fridge. 
Kitchen stove, kitchen counter, little kitchen. Not a lot of room to move around in here. And then you go down the hall. And here's the bunk beds in the first bedroom. And one side is all cupboards. Go into the bathroom. There's your dad's throne. And it has a real bathtub. And into the master bedroom. This is being pushed out. The bed will go here. And it's got cupboards and counters and a back door. See? Pretty nice, hey? Grandpa, of course, is taking the cupboards off to fix them. Guess it just needs a little bit of fine tuning. Lots of cupboard space in the bathroom. Shower. Now into the bathroom. You look into the kitchen again. Looking for a trailer. Quite good. Grandma and I are going to shampoo the Chesterfield, which is also a bed. Do a bit of piddling up, and then we can start moving the stuff in. Nice and bright. And we're going to shampoo the carpets when everything's done. Well, here we are the next day. We're still working in the trailer. Here's Grandpa and Dad trying to put in the kitchen light fixture. Yeah, a little... if we had our son-in-law here, it could have been done for us. <laughs> yes, that's right. I mean, Get an electrician in the... I'm marrying my daughter for. <laughs> Get an electrician well, in the family it. and he well, buggers on. I mean, I may as well let her marry a plumber. Anyway, we've been working our Good. little fingers to the bone around here. You had before, so of course, yeah, there's the kitchen counter full of oh. men's junk. Right there. And you go over here and right look there. at the cute little table and chairs oh, in the eating here. area. Just little go, chairs from the garage sale. And, and we scrubbed and scrubbed the Chesterfield. Yeah, we gotta get in there and it came out just like new. Look at the cute little living room. Oh, and here's the coffee table. Oh, it's happy hour time. And here's the rest of the living room. Sliding glass doors. The the <laughs> nice. Uh, I better help her. She's got a couple of drinks in her hand. Oh, here comes some drinks. See the Sunday still a bit low. We got some <laughs> sheets because we've shampooed the carpets and they've come up clean as a whistle. <laughs> this doesn't look so great. And here's the master bedroom. So I've got to put the window in. All the curtains came. Oh, the bedspread came with it too. Looks nice, hey? Can't get any farther out or I'll fall out the door. And then from this side of the master bedroom, see there's the window, sliding glass doors, and all these nice built in shelves. And the back door that goes into the bathroom. Direction is this. Yeah, I'm set. <laughs> He's like a young gazelle. <laughs> Then we are in. As you can see, we're in the new trailer, and all work has ended. I wonder why. I wonder why, as Derek lifts his glass, yes, and, and Grandpa lifts his lifts his glass there. Oh. Well, we'll just zoom in on Grandma then. No, no, no. This is the first thing we see. The christening. Yeah, even then they're all wanting in here for half year. I said, yeah, after all of what work we've done. And uh, there's Mum talking again. showed up to help us celebrate the auspicious. I'm going to have to kill him, you know. Can you say the word auspicious? Occasion. You say it, Derek. Carefully. Again. The process of uh, cutting all the pipes out and reworking the plumbing system. Close to that as I can get it, and then sand to be thin. So. Well, you look like you're having fun under there. <laughs> oh, thank God there's no lower. Coming out. Yep. Yep. 
that's going to work out all right. Now this thing here, I got to take this off first. Flaming, flaming. What's that? Well, it's the name of the raspberry. And then these were unknown, but supposed to be very, very good. And there's the neighbors, Ileana and Derek House, somewhere behind the trees. Can't really see it. The sheds. And there's the trailer. We're about a quarter of the way down the property towards the water. Now we're coming down to the water. Tides out. There's Ileana and Derek's house. This is a better view. Mm -hmm. Apple trees. And the trailer way up there. Zoom in. Zoom out. Well, it's more like a little house than that one, eh? Yep. Couldn't believe it. It was interesting to watch. Actually had two little dogwood this year. Blooming. I think that's slide away down now. This, was, this should stop some of the erosion. All these rocks placed here. You don't need your land. Don't even tell this. And now we're looking back. Tides out. Walked out as far as we can go. And there's the island. And there's Grandma. There's a couple of herons. <laughs> Big now. And there they go.
You've been over on there, haven't you? Yep. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look. These are thick solid. This is Eileen's place. And here's Eileen's place. Nobody's here. Snake in the grass? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you can't see it, can you? They throw a rock on it and get it to move. That's what it did. Where is it? There's our snake. They won't be disturbed around here. The mower gets a lot. There's lots and lots of snakes. Actually, is the thing alive? Is it breathing? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. It doesn't look like it, does it? No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not touching it. Delta. These big ones are, are mullions. These big ones, they're um, like weeds around here all the time. But Who are you, Delta? As you can see, the first project we did here was we had to rearrange the plumbing in the trailer. But you can see down there, the plumbing's been changed so that the sewer goes into Bill's fancy little septic tank here. And the water's been changed all to go down here and goes into the fancy tank down there. Now it's all covered in and that project is finished. Now we're going to raise a sun deck. Right now, what we got to do is we got to dig it out a little bit more so the jack can fit under the, the sun deck. So you can raise them up. So, we're going to dig it out a bit more. Terry's still trying to get the jacks underneath there and get them leveled up before they raise it. Meanwhile, Mum and I are starting to clear the excess dirt off this nice rock bluff that's right here. Oh. Get it all cleaned up, it'll look a lot better than just dirt and weeds. <laughs> Grandma getting the ladder so she can put it by the back door so we can get into the trailer when they're working on the deck. There's all the pretty flowers at the back. Well, with this great project, we have to start out very carefully and make sure everything's on firm bearing end level. And we have to lift just to make sure everything's Going together, we should lift the first lift, take, the, take one inch up, just one inch only, and we'll check off all bearings, make sure they're level and there's no sway. Okay, what we've done so far is all four of us have pumped up each corner. We're about three inches off the ground now. We're just going to block up the stairs and try and save them from falling off the deck. Okay? So just hang up a while. Oh, here it is. Good. Is it level? Where's the level now to the top of that? It won't you know, it's you pretty level, Bill. Yeah. Right yeah. What? You can't take it right up with this gangplank. Yeah, you see it. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Right perfect. How much? Uh, 
Okay, this is me pumping up my corner of the sun deck. See how easy it is? Let's see. Yeah. We've got four of us doing it all at once. Carry on his side. Grandpa over there. Okay, our first problem this jack's not going up any farther. It's a smaller jack, so we're going to have to dig it out and put a block this underneath there. Hey, this may happen on the other ones too. No, it might. Oh, no, because you don't have yeah. much there, but the front you will. Jack won't I thought here it was going to go so way. easy. No. But we couldn't have tall ones because you couldn't get them underneath. No. Oh. But then it has to go up 12 Fine. inches. Shingle do? Yeah. No, you, you, you have to put it up 12 inches, and that's not 12 inches. Yeah, but if you want any bigger jacks, you can get them underneath. No, but I, I mean, you know, you wanted to put it up, you wanted to put the um, deck up 12 inches, and that hasn't gone up 12 inches. No. Okay, I'm going to let it down, Bill. All right. Yeah, okay. Pressure's off. Can go down like this, or up? The block's taking the weight, so it won't go down on its own. Push her down with the bar or something. Yeah, she's loose. Yeah. Okay. I get the fly under there then. Why don't you go down easier than that? There's Grandpa bricks under there so the jack has can work and go farther up. Too high or not? That's bad. Okay, now we've locked it up and we've got the smaller jack in there oh, and now we've got to pump it up. Too far. So that's why you have to fill the holes in as you go through. Well, yeah. Then you gotta then you're rashing for a chip though. Yeah. With a firm bearing we've had it. Yeah true. Well, we have to saw some logs off, that's all. Okay, you want to measure down this end here, and, and I'll stop when they, I'm, I'm the same as you guys, or what? Yep, yep. Bring up the five inches. Oh, you got anything to measure? I'm going to take. You say, four. You say five inches, Bill? Five inches, yep. How's the other side looking, Jen? Keep an eye on the other side, Jen, please. Put something there before someone steps in the hole. Yeah. Well, we have raised the deck to the proper level. There's going to be one small step going in there. And tomorrow they've got to extend the deck up to the trailer. This has only taken yeah. uh, six hours. It ran into a few problems. But otherwise, it's level, it's secure. And now it's happy hour time. We have to stop. Okay, here we are again. Now they're trying to do take the canopy down for the very first time. Of course, nothing's very easy and they can't figure out how to do it. Okay, look at this, Bill. Bill, yeah. all you do is pull it here. Yeah, I see it. Okay, let go, Reed. Reed, you got this at one wheel lift. And that over there locked it. That's all it was. I actually just got locked one end, eh? Right. Well, that makes it simple. Well, that's even wet. Oh, she can move these chairs and keep it clean. Put it where you're wet. Kind of a big one. Yeah. Put it where you're wet. Yeah. Well, it's not moldy. Over there, we're pulling it. The whole trailer was shaking like mad. We were right down, but the, that's not the end yet. Oh, you're at the end there, okay. Push the, pull the other arm, pull the other arm down, Ree. Pull the other arm down. It can go down to here. Push 
this thing. Patio or gut. Yeah, you turn that arm up and slide this other arm up and down. Let that go. Let that slide right around where it belongs and push the whole show up. Yeah, but you're only going to go as far as nine, eh? Well, then you can go all the way up the cut. No, no, there's, no. no, that's what those holes are for, number nine. I know, I know. You only want to go up all that. That's number nine. I know, I got to go up higher than you, though. You're up above me. Somebody, somebody get up the deck here and lift this roller, lift this roll here. We didn't have to dig that when we went off. And you want to give us a hand then instead right of coming? I'm above number nine. I'm way above number nine. Well, there isn't any more numbers. No, but you go up that it. You don't need numbers. But two numbers are above number nine. You don't want to go up that tire No. Two numbers above number nine will put the duty back in again. Yeah, she's starting to fuss now. I think she... That's the old hint. She wants the milk wagon.